MPs have launched a new inquiry now into pregnancy and maternity discrimination after that report, which they've described as shocking. Maria Miller is leading the inquiry. Good morning to you. Um, is it something that you have come across? Uh, yes, and we've been out as part of our inquiry talking to women around the country and I think it's really quite shocking to hear the sort of treatment that women are having to endure at a time when, you know, things are complicated enough when you're pregnant. And why has this got worse in a decade? Because you would think that more companies would be aware of discrimination, mm -hmm. would know that there are consequences and would want to make sure they're doing everything they can. Mm -hmm not to do this? Well, there are record numbers of women in work now, and I think this is part of the challenge, that we need to make sure that we've modernised the workplace so that it can it can deal with the fact that actually it's going to be far more common for women to be off on maternity leave and actually coming back as well. And our report is making some very sensible recommendations about how we can make the law that's already in place work better, but also, I think, importantly, look at extending that law really just to keep up with countries like Germany, who are, frankly, now well ahead of us. But is it because companies know that they can get away with it because of the fact we look at the statistics of women who actually then go through a claim because of discrimination and it's less than one percent of women who experience maternity discrimination then bring a claim. So a lot of companies will be thinking well we can do what we want because there's no comeback. Well you're right I mean part of the issue is making sure that employers see the law as being something that they have to stay within and at the moment uh, there's clear evidence that some are flouting that uh, so we need to make sure that uh, women are able to bring, if, if the worst comes to the worst, a case through a tribunal. They can't really afford it, can they, a lot of them? Well, £1,200, I mean, and that's the sort of Conservative government that has um, allowed that to happen. Well, there's been a review that's been going on for the last year into whether or not the new tri tribunal fees have been causing problems. Do you think they have? And I, well, I think the, tri the, uh, the Justice Select Committee have already reported on the fact that they feel it is a problem. Mm. Uh, so I think not only looking at tribunal fees um, and how we can make sure there's more access to justice but I think that there's also a great deal of evidence which would say that women don't really know the rights that they have anyway so simply making sure that women who are pregnant know their maternity yeah. rights is so important. So what are those rights and if somebody's watching this morning and they're about to go back to work or you know they are pregnant or thinking about it I mean there's so many women that this covers so and, and we must say it's a family issue it's not just about women here it affects the husband it affects the other children yeah. as we heard from our report there so what are the sort of main sort of three takeaway bits of rights and legal rights that a woman can think about and make sure she doesn't you know, the most important thing is that every single uh, pregnant woman, despite you, that no matter what contract you're on, should not be discriminated against. I mean, one of the problems that we've identified is that people who are on certain sorts of contracts can't go to antenatal classes or antenatal uh, yeah. uh, 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 surgery appointments uh, on paid time, uh, that actually everybody has the right to not be discriminated against. But I think secondly and importantly is to make sure that people know that they can bring uh, claims against their employers and, what about your job and that they can yeah. get uh, support from organisations like Citizens Advice to do that. But you sort of want to avoid it getting to that position. Most women would rather yeah. just it didn't get to that point. So, for example, if your job description changes whilst you're off on maternity leave and uh, and they start, you know, re yeah. asking people to reapply for it, things that, those sorts of things do happen quite commonly, don't they? Yes. And uh, Where they use the opportunity that, that, that she's out of the way yeah. to change the structure. Um, and when women are on maternity leave, um, they have got extra protections against against uh, being made redundant. What we want to make sure is that actually we get this, the German style protections that no women who are on maternity leave can be made redundant. And in fact, we want to see protection for up mm. to six months after a child is born. Because uh, at the moment, it's, you have to lodge a complaint within three months, that's so, right. which is difficult, isn't it? You've just come back to work, you've got a new baby, you've got a lot going on. It's hard for women to sort of you know, adjust to that without necessarily thinking, actually, I need to sort out taking a discrimination claim as well. That's right. So, I mean, there are protections in place. We need to make sure that women are more aware of them the most important thing to know is that you simply can't be discriminated against but also making sure that your employer is taking health and safety um, seriously as well yes. because there is already law in place which says that they need to take account of what might be more dangerous for a pregnant woman or might put them more at risk um, but often employers aren't really taking those things seriously no, and that's and if you're one, on of one of those contracts you're freelance or whatever you'll just mm. accept anything because you feel like I need the work so and that's one of the you reasons don't feel like you've got any rights yeah and that's one reason why many women are leaving work and up to one in ten mm. women are finding no option but to leave work and just a, a, as, a, as a yes or a no do you think having a, a female Prime Minister Theresa May in the job actually makes your job easier in the sense that you can get these things heard by a woman now yes
Good answer. Uh, thank you very much. No yeah, so, Maria nice Miller, thanks you. very much for joining us this morning. 17 million people have voted for Leave. Yep. Based, I don't know how many people voted on the basis of that advert, but that was a huge part of the propaganda. You're now saying that's a mistake. We have a £10 billion a year, a £34 million a day feather bed that is going to be free money that we can spend on the NHS,